everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today it's time for a review of the latest release from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is their new Gaultier Divine. I have it here and I've been trying it out. So I'm gonna let you know what this smells like, give you my review and first impressions. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I have hundreds of videos just like this. I will leave the links below to my other Jean-Paul Gaultier videos, going through all their new releases and ranges, along with where you can get this perfume all around the world. And if you're a regular if you do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up that really helps me cool so Jean-Paul Gaultier their classic range their scandal range but I personally really associate with sweet vanilla perfumes quite sort of sexy evening type scents so they have had a few that are um, lighter when I first saw this and it comes in a tin like the Jean-Paul Gaultier perfumes always do it has this gold and cream branding and of course of course, the bottle is super, super gold. It's in the iconic classic bottle of the shape of a woman. And I remember we did have one like this with the sort of Madonna Jean-Paul Gaultier bustier on. So I immediately, when I saw this, I thought the gold, I thought this is gonna be vanilla. The original classic is like a really sort of powdery vanilla and I thought this is definitely gonna be vanilla. There is no vanilla in this perfume. So I was really taken aback when I first sprayed it. It's totally not what I expected at all. So this is definitely a floral perfume and it's quite a fresh floral. The main note that I get here is Lily and it actually really reminds me of a limited edition perfume that they did um, maybe like two years ago called La Belle Fleur Terrible that came in a turquoise bottle. This was also a fresh Lily perfume. It was limited edition and I always thought it was a really good fragrance and I was like surprised it was limited but I feel like it's kind of born again in Gautier Divine. So when you first spray it, you get quite a fresh opening note. It feels quite oceanic, um, watery, and there's a hint of sweetness from a watermelon note. So this is created by Givadon, which is a massive perfume house. They have a lot of unique scents or accords that they've created, which are like copyrighted. And it has one of them in, and it's a synthetic creation, which is like an aquatic sea note with a watermelon undertone. And it's called Calypsone. And that's what's in the top of here. So you get a lot of this freshness and a hint of watermelon. There's also a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of red berries, but for me, the top top note disappears relatively quickly and reveals that floral heart. So I really get the lily, like a bouquet of lilies. I also get ylang ylang as well. And then in the base, it's using what it's describing as meringue. So I wouldn't say it's overly sweet though. When I think of meringue, which is made out of like sugar, I think it's gonna be sugary. It doesn't feel sweet or sugary to me. It feels like a slightly musky base. There's also a hint of patchouli in here as well. But for me, this really, is ylang ylang lily and they've used a jasmine oil in here which um, doesn't really stand out by itself as jasmine but it's used in so many fragrances now to help support the other floral notes and it definitely reminds me of la belle fleur terrible i think because of the ylang ylang note it also reminds me a bit of la vie belle Soleil crystal which has a lot of ylang ylang in though that one has a coconut base which this one of course doesn't have but if you like the floral heart of La Vie Belle Slow Crystal, then I think you'll like this. Um, this is definitely one for fans of floral perfumes. Another famous Lily perfume is J'adore. So if you like that, I think you'll like this as well. It's definitely totally different to Classic, to the other like versions of Classic that we've had, and definitely different to Scandal. It feels to me like a daytime perfume and probably like a spring perfume, something you could wear during the day, you know, go shopping, go to the office. I don't think it's heavy enough for the evening time or the winter. I'm finding that it sticks around on the skin pretty well and it's like a musky langy lang lily that sticks around. The projection isn't like super strong. It is an eau de parfum, but I'd say that the, the silage is there. It's just not super projecting like some of the Jean-Paul Gaultier perfumes can be. So it feels appropriate like for the office 
breakfast, for the daytime, any fans of Lily perfumes. I think this would be a pretty gift for, you know, a mum, uh, auntie, you know, we've obviously got Christmas coming up. If you know someone likes floral bouquet perfumes. This is the 100ml and it is a pretty big bottle. The 100ml retails for 162. I do have it with a discount code at Look Fantastic where you can get it for 125. I'll leave the link down below. You've then got a 50ml which is 92 and a 30ml that's 62 and it's also refillable so you can get a 200ml refill and that costs 160 so much cheaper than buying the 100ml and then you can refill it. So it is quite pricey though. I feel like perfumes are just going up and up and up so much. I guess inflation and everything this year. I think this will be popular. New Jean Paul Gaultier perfumes that come out are always intriguing. People want to try them. So I think it's definitely one to try unless you like, you know you like your Lang Ylang with Lily, then it's definitely one to sort of try before you buy. But I think if you do like those notes, then it is a relatively safe buy. Yeah, in fact, I still get a little bit of the watermelon even as it's settling down. It's almost a little bit green, like the, the freshness of a sea breeze mixing with the floral notes. And I guess that's that creation from Jibidon. Um, So I think this is like a surprise. Is it Soki approved? It's not to my personal taste. I don't tend to wear Lily or Ylang Ylang, but I think if you do, then this is a good perfume for you. So in that sense, it's Soki approved and the bottle is really cool as well. But guys, let me know if you've tried this yet. What do you think of it? I guess, is it what you expected? Let me know in the comments and let me know what your favorite version of the classics have been. There've been so many different versions, limited editions. I really like the Cabaret one, which was an orange blossom that's discontinued. I do have an article on my website actually that goes through every version of classic. So I'll leave that link down below as well. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.